It's Friday, right? Yeah, thank goodness. I'm tired of getting up at pre-dawn hours. Same workout today as yesterday. 35 minutes on the bike with hills at level 10. And then five sets of 10 reps, um, all with the higher weight on the low pull, the side crunches, each side, the forward crunches, and the leg lifts. It was hard today. I pushed hard today, just like yesterday. So that's what I mean. It was the same as yesterday. I pushed really hard. Try to pick up the pace on the reps. So not go faster on the reps, but just shorten the breaks in between reps or sets. I don't have my lingo right. But yeah, and uh, oh my god, I was so sweaty. It was gross. <laughs> I think drinking all the water that I've been trying to drink has, uh, it's, it's like three days of more than a gallon of water a day. And um, I think my body's decided to finally let go of some of the water. <laughs> it's in sweat. It's just un it's gross. <laughs> but they say it's also really good for your skin, so maybe that'll also be good for the hives. We'll see. Um, no new ones this morning, so that's good. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, green juice, small plates, Fridays are leftover day upstairs, so that's not a lot of motivation to go and check out the selections. Um, so I'll probably keep it to salads. 25 days, that sounds like a lot. But I feel like I'm just starting to get my stride, actually. So... There's no stopping me now. See you later. Hi, it is after work on Friday. Woohoo! Um, it's a pretty good day. Nothing shocking at work. I, uh, I did the green juice for breakfast. I did a little salad at 11, which was spinach, smoked salmon, what did I have in there? Pickles, artichoke hearts, a little avocado, and some balsamic vinegar. And that was delicious. Um, and then I waited too long to get any uh, cooked food. So I had another mini salad, uh, which is what I wanted anyway. That also had smoked salmon, a hard boiled egg, like a tablespoon of garbanzo beans, like hardly any, um, just because garbanzo beans have some things in them that are good for you. Um, and that had cucumbers, little grape tomatoes, and some little tiny, sliced little tiny peppers. And that was also delicious with balsamic vinegar and an aloe drink, which I think actually has fewer calories than the pink thing that I usually drink, the cleanse. But um, I did have a snack at like four o'clock. I had some unsalted cashews and some dates. So I'm doing okay. I'm not hungry, so I don't need a snack right now. I had that snack before, so I'm good until dinner. Um, I've been drinking all this water, so literally marking off every water that I drink to try to get my water intake up. And today was the first day that I actually made the water goal without it being, without it feeling like I was just going and getting water constantly. <laughs> Either going to the bathroom or going to get water all the time. Today it felt more natural. Like you know, when you get up, just get some water while you're up. And so that was, that's better. <laughs> so, because <laughs> um, yeah, before it just felt like, work 
I weighed myself again today. I know I said I wasn't going to weigh myself every day, but it's been going in the right direction. Little increments. Um, and so today I'm actually kind of excited. So I lost, over the course of this week, three pounds. And so that's a total of seven, which is still a small number, but I'm excited about it. So reflections on today. Um, this morning in the gym, there were, as usual, people coming and going. Everything was fine. There's a couple that I've seen before that are in the gym together, and he's, he, you can tell he's more invested than she is. They do cardio, um, initially, He'll, he runs and she does the elliptical, and then they move on to calisthenics and weights. And he runs, and he runs at a great pace, and runs a couple miles, and she does the elliptical with her phone in her hand, just sort of make, going through the motions. It's just, you know, she's doing it to make him happy, she's not invested. And, you know, whatever, do your thing, I don't care. Except, I looked at her out of the corner of my eye and saw her phoning it in, and I thought, oh, whatever, she doesn't have to, she's thin. In my head, that was an insult. In my head, she was a bad person because she was already there. She didn't need to. And oh, what's that? Growing up, being a little girl that was told that I was too big, too fat, too heavy, you'd be pretty if you only you lost weight. Um, by one thin, pretty woman, girl, after another, for decades, um, I wonder if I have vilified the thing I would like to become. I don't think I'm not pretty. I think I'm pretty okay. That's fine. I, especially for my age. <laughs> I think I'm okay there. But thin. Because this girl, I don't know what, I didn't look at her face. I don't know if she was pretty or not. But she was of a healthy weight already. And why did that make her bad? Um, so yeah, I got, I think, some work to do. Because I'm not sure if I can get myself to a healthy weight if subconsciously that's the enemy. I mean, it was stark in my head. I don't like her. And, yeah. And it was that the word, oh, pretty. Ooh. Well, I never considered pretty to be a derogatory term before. But I think there's something under there that I have to examine. Um, because wouldn't it be a shame if I work this hard and I get some good progress and then somehow I sabotage myself later because I don't like that I am now the enemy, outwardly. So I'm going to journal that and sort of, as they say, put a pin in it um, so that I don't forget that that is something that I'm on the long list of things that I want to work on. Friday night, I've got, I'll show you, this big fat workbook. Of behavioral therapy that I want to start working on. It's exercises for learning mindfulness, interpersonal effectiveness, emotional reg regulation, and distress tolerance. It's a lot in there. It's, it's a thick book, so that's going to take a good long time to get through. Um, not all going to be tonight, but <laughs> over the course of the next few months, that is my project. Tomorrow, I think we're going to ride bikes, so see a good weather, and maybe, if there's time, the Cliff House, which I've never seen yet. So, it'll be a San Francisco weekend. Alright, you guys, have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow.